Hey there YouTube, this is Robert, reading through history, and all I can say is today was definitely a Monday. It was just one of those days. I mean, nothing went right. The, you know, if it could go wrong, it did. But, is there any shining light to this day? Yes. Moving across the room here, we got something in the mail today. This here is our latest workbook, The Great Depression and the Dirty Thirties, uh, Teacher's Resource Manual. This was one of two huge products uh, that we put together this summer. Uh, check it out here, reading through history, The Great Depression and the Dirty Thirties. Uh, Take a look at the table of contents. Uh, we got a day in Hooverville, a tale of two presidents. You see these all have like four different categories underneath it. A New Deal for America, a Radio in the 30s, War of the Worlds, great story there. Uh, movies in the 1930s, uh, Bing Crosby, Shirley Temple, Will Rogers. Uh, that's just the first, you know, Page 67 is where that starts. Uh, the Dust Bowl Blues, we've got four lessons there. The Dust Bowl Black Blizzards, uh, Pest. The Okies, uh, got Woody Guthrie, you know, the Grapes of Wrath. Uh, this section here, No One Wears a Crown, that's got the demagogues of the uh, 1930s, women in the 1930s. Uh, the world of tomorrow. This is kind of like what it looks like inside one of our uh, workbooks. You've got a uh, one page write up there with some vocab questions. Uh, and it's just to get the students to reading uh, the material, having to handle the material. But, you know, kids sometimes are supposed to read something and they don't. Uh, that's why our questions, uh, we've got multiple choice questions here five of those. Another great picture here of the uh, unemployed. You know, these are your multiple choice, basically reading, you know, comprehension questions. Or even if they tried not to read it, you know, to find the answers, they'll have to go back through it. Uh, guided reading activities. It's basically fill in the blank, go with the flow. Uh, but again, it forces them to go back to the material yet again, have to dig through it. Uh, vocabulary. Of course, that's always a weak spot with a lot of students. So you get them seeing these this terminology over and over again. Uh, student summaries. I got six questions here. This is our who, what, when, where, why, and how. You'll notice that pattern. And then each section, of course, ends with a student response essay question. And to get the kids thinking about it. Uh, you know, what lessons about installment buying might be learned from the events of the 1920s and 30s? Do you see any parallels from the world of the 1920s and the world of today? Explain your answer. So that was kind of a look inside one of our workbooks, uh, just so you could see what's in them. That's kind of what we do here, reading through history in our spare time. We just uh, create our own assignments and we stick them either up on our website or in one of our workbooks. So uh, if you're curious about it, just check out the link down below. Thanks.